On the top plane, create circle at 266 mm of diameter. Then create new plane with the distance from top plane at 100 mm. On the new plane, create sketch. Center rectangle. For construction. OK. Make equal. Center point arc. Mirror entities. Set dimension at 160 millimeters. One hundred forty millimeters of radius. Sketch fillet at forty millimeters. Check dimension each fillet. On the front plane, choose sketch. Create arcs. Make coincident. Make pierce. Make coincident and make pierce. Set dimension at 24 millimeters. Radius at 50 millimeters. Radius 250 millimeters. Tangent. Then choose swept surface, click profile, and path. Under guide curve, select sketch 2. OK. Planar surface. Then knit surface. Check create solid. Select surface. OK. On the front plane, create line sketch. Convert entities. Offset entities at 46 millimeters. Choose split. Cut part. Select body 3. Uncheck consume cut bodies. OK. Choose move face. Set depth at 1.2 millimeters, then click top body face. Choose move face again. Set depth at 0.4 millimeters, then click middle body face. Choose combine. Select bodies to combine. OK. Choose extruded cut, click this face, click edge, and convert entities. Exit sketch. Set depth at 3 millimeters. Draft angle at 80 degrees. OK. Fillet radius at 50 millimeters. Choose shell. Set thickness at 1 mm. Click this faces to remove. OK. Fillet radius for these steps contour at 1 mm. On the plane 1, choose extruded boss, click this edge, then choose convert entities, exit sketch, 
Set depth at 5 mm. Check thin feature, reverse direction. Set thickness at 3.5 mm. Draft angle at 5 degrees. Reverse direction. Check direction 2. Up to next. Draft angle at 5 degrees. Check draft outward. OK. On the front plane, choose sketch. Then create arc. Make vertical. Set dimension at 1.5 millimeters and 100 millimeters. Choose split, then cut part. Consume cut bodies for body 2 and body 3. OK. Click sketch 7, edit, then copy. Click right plane, edit, then paste. Click sketch 8, then choose split. Cut part. Consume cut bodies for body 1 and body 2. OK. Fillet radius at 50 millimeters. Click this edge, then choose connected to start loop. OK. Fillet radius at 1 millimeter. OK. Choose rolled surface, tapered to vector, edge selection. Click this edge. Reference vector. Face 1. Set distance at 30 millimeters. Angle at 70 degrees. OK. Hide this body. Extend surface at 1 millimeter. Show bodies. Choose thicken and click surface. Set thickness at 4 millimeters. Check merge result. OK. Delete face. On the top plane, choose Sketch. Center lines. Create ellipse. Set height at 290 millimeters. Width at 300 millimeters. Center point arc. Set width at 10 millimeters. Height at 94 millimeters. Mirror entities. Choose split. Cut part. Select body 3 to consume cut bodies. OK. Fillet radius at 30 millimeters. Click edge, then choose connected to start loop. OK. Create sketch on the top plane. Offset entities at 5 millimeters. 
and 4 mm. Right click, then select Tangency. Check Reverse. OK. Choose Split Line. Select Faces to Split. OK. Offset Surface at 0 mm. OK. Choose Thicken Cut. Select Surface to Thicken. Set Thickness at 0.5 mm. OK. Choose Thicken Cut again. Select Surface to Thicken. Set Thickness at 0.5 mm. OK. On the top plane, choose Sketch. Offset Entities. Set Offset Distance at 8 mm. Center Line. Center Point Arc. Set width at 10 mm. Radius at 35 mm. Trim to closest. Sketch fillet at 2.5 mm. OK. Choose Extruded Cut, Reverse Direction, Through All, OK. Fillet Radius at 1 mm. OK. Feature Mirror on the right plane. Select Cut Extruded 2, and Fillet 6. OK. Full round fillet. Select side face set 1. Center face set. And side face set 2. OK. Fillet radius at 1.5 mm. No preview. OK. Fillet radius at 2 mm. Full preview. OK. Section View. Fillet radius at 5 mm. Face fillet at 3 mm. Select face set 1, and face set 2. OK. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope to see you again in the next video.